Hello, I'm just out here tinkering around. Everybody's always talking about the cutting fluid and the stuff they use. So, I've got... I've seen people using motor oil, WD-40, and I use a mixture of 70% baby oil, 30% uh, Tiki Torch Fuel, which is mineral oil, and Tiki Torch Fuel is paraffin oil. It's an old school recipe and I've always had great luck with it, so I've got two pieces of aluminum, I've got 70-75 half inch block of it, and a massive block of A356 cast. So we'll see what gives best finishes on each of these metals, or each of these alloys. i am set cheaper up already, so we'll get started. Okay, I got it done up. I just created marks, grooves one inches across, or increments, and I'll take and do the first cut. I'll have no oil or anything at all to get see the surface finish. Then the next one will be motor oil. And then the mix that I use, and then the last one I'll use WD-40 on. So let's get started. It is a two and a half thousand step over, about a twenty thousand step to cut. So. Now for motor oil, just a little bit. More than a little bit. And now my mix of the the old school mix, baby oil and tiki torch fuel. And for the last one, WD-40.
Okay, in the end, does the different cutting fluids matter on extruded? I don't see any difference. It's all looks the same to me. It all looks the same to me. The oil went on its uh, across it, so it's very it has a film on it. This one it has more prominent layers. This one. They're a little finer. I'd say the WD-40 might have been the one that did it the best, but you could hear the tool bit cutting more with the oil and WD-40 than with this stuff. You could hear it slicing more. So. Let's switch over to the cast. Picks up fingerprints real well. <laughs> okay, I finally got the cast one out. I just took a roughing cut. It's real rough now, but just a fast step over roughing cut to get it flat so that I can get an accurate setup on this. So, let's see how it goes. And now for the motor oil. Uh, And finally, the WD-40. Well, 
It looks like I'm going to be eating my words. It looks like the WD-40 actually gave the best finish. I'll put turn this light on here. See if you can see. This one here get a really good finish. You can see it's a lot clearer. That's the WD-40. This one was the one that I my mixture. It's baby butt smooth. You can't. There's nothing. It's about equal to. That's kind of rough. You can catch your fingernails on the that. So. Sorry. Um. Grab this ruler here. Yeah, you can't really see the reflection in it. But it does look like WD-40 actually gave the better finish on cast aluminum. Un unfinished or no oil at all. And dip at 30 weight oil my mixture which you could actually hear the motor or the tool bit it wasn't cutting as hard as it was with this because you could hear it sound and it just kind of was silent on this on my mixture and the WD-40 WD-40 did give a better surface finish though so on cast aluminum WD-40 This is a tool that I'm using. It's just a knife tool, but it's a radius knife tool, so I can get up to corners, but it still leaves a nice finish. There you can see how well it cleaned up. Fingerprint across each one. WD-40 and the baby oil, and the other one shows fingerprints a lot better, because it's a lot smoother. So, yeah, I'd say it was a good test. Uh, I think I'm going to call it quits. It's getting very, very cold out here, so. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya. Hopefully this helped somebody.